know. We never le- leave our pick. Natural Hair Girls, we never leave our pick. Let me put some lip balm on so I don't look too crusty, okay? Hi, Beauties and Curls. We are back with another video. It's Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in and watching. And if you are new, I just want to welcome you. If you're a new subscriber, thanks so much for tuning in. I just, I'm, I'm really glad that you guys are loving these Maintenance Monday videos. Yeah, this one is another sit down. I know I like to mix it up and that's just something that I love to do. And I think you like guys love that too. Now I have on skincare, but I haven't put on makeup yet. I'm going to be kind of light today, but I wanted to show you a different type of get ready with me. I know last week we did a couple of, we did some chit chat and I was putting on my makeup. Well, this one is a hair growth get ready with me. So I'm just going to let you guys know what I am currently using. Of course, I am not a doctor, so I am, this is my own regimen, my own concoction. Some of these have worked for me. Other things I am incorporating new into my routine of hair growth, but I'm going to show you guys what I do to my hair now that we are doing uh, a little bit more self-care and we are trying to rectify this issue with my hair. The first thing that I want to do is take my vitamins. Well, first of all, I'm drinking a, a lot more water, okay? What is on the inside is really, really important. The next thing I'm going to do is take some vitamins. So I am currently taking the Nature's Bounty. I'll, I'll leave links down below. But I am using the hair, skin, and nails gummies. I did get this in a Fat Fit Fun and I really enjoyed it. So this one has biotin in it and it is 2,500 MCGs per serving. So I'm using this and I also have the Nature's Bounty multivitamin that I am taking. The other two things that you're going to see me put in my hair or um, I got a question about am I still using Nioxin and I wasn't using it before. I know this stuff works because I used it in the previous pregnancy after postpartum shedding and I used this and my hair grew like a weed. So I know this works. I was just being lazy. And that's one of the things that I totally encourage is don't be lazy. Okay. Don't be lazy like I was because neglecting your hair, it will show. So this is the Nioxin hair booster and I just take a few pumps. It is like a wet consistency and what you're supposed to do is put it in your edges first you can use it in the scalp but it does give the directions of using it so it's wet so this is why I suggest that you have I'm gonna put some in my, my um, hands too and use it in my scalp so I'm giving myself a scalp, a scalp massage and I'm gonna do this once in the morning and once at night but this is a hair booster. It's supposed to boost the growth of the hair follicle. So basically what I am doing is just massaging it. But anyway, I got a question from one of you all and you asked, you asked, was I using the hair booster? And I'm so glad that like, that was a good question because I was like, I bought this, I better use it. And she is a new subby. Thanks so much. I'll put your name here. Thanks so much for reminding me that I need to use my hair booster. And I pulled it out this morning and I was like, you know what, it works, why am I not using it? And it was the truth of the matter is I was lazy. I don't know we get lazy sometimes, but I just, you know, I just suggest you guys just pull out the things that you know work for you. I'm just showing you what, I, what works for me. I am gonna leave links for everything that I have down below. So I just did like, I'm just like massaging using the pads on my fingers. I'm not using my nails. That's why you're not hearing scratching, but you're hearing massaging. So you can take this. You can also use my your hair massager. I totally forgot about that, but I will leave an insert of a picture of mine. You can use the hair, hair massager. I think I got it from Planet, Planety Van, Vanity Planet. That's what it's called. So yeah, the hair massager is a plus. I need to put more batteries in mine but your hands works good that just keeps your hands from being tired and you can use it in the shower too to like remove everything it's really it's a really good uh device to use for
for, for um, you know, massages. Okay, so I'm done with that massage. I do keep my hair in a stretch state. This was a, I, uh, this is a twist out and I know it doesn't look like a twist out, but my hair is extremely coily. So this is how my twist outs start off. The more I twist my hair, uh, the easier it gets. Now, let me look at a mirror because I know I probably, okay. Like my hair is frizzy, but it's okay because I am going to just, um, bun today. Protective style is another important thing, but I just want to talk about products. One of the things that I really look at are ingredients for hair growth in my products. So one of the things that I know a lot of natural hair or a lot of girls that want to grow their hair, they use castor seed oil. So these are two products that I have been using. This is the Belle Nouveau creamy castor custard deep conditioning treatment so it does have the prop properties of oils and everything but only um you know the residue of this deep conditioner is go going to stay whatever penetrated into the hair shaft that's what's going to stay so this is a vegan and non-protein this is protein free so um if you don't like coconut oil it's not going to have any of those things in it and it actually has what's in here and they have some thickeners in here uh but yeah has some really good in product uh, ingredients i have not done a review on this but spoiler alert i love it this is the Oyen whipped pudding now it is a rich dense base moisture cream i love this if you have thin hair if you have if you have thin hair and you're going to be bunning or anything you can use this because this will weigh your hair down or if you're using a twist out it is extremely thick but it has castor seed oil. Oyen hair, handmade hairdo also has it. So if you're using these as leave-ins, these are going to be really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also massage this into my scalp. I know I'm using a couple of different things and I'm gonna use one more new product for my end. I mean, for my roots before I go to my ends. Okay. The next thing I'm going to use is this Eco Slay. Now I'm gonna leave some information about this. I am gonna do a um, a review personally on this, but this is known as a hair growth. And the reason why it's red like this, like hot sauce, is for the ingredients that are in here. So these are some natural ingredients and it does turn orange. So you wanna make sure that you go far, far back into the scalp so it's not leaking or anything, but it does come with a brush too, cause you're supposed to put it in your edges, but I don't have the brush right here. So I'm using my hands. Okay, so that is the little concoction that I'm using for my edges. Now I'm gonna go back into the onion whipped pudding and I'm going to put this on my edges. Now let me show you what I do is I'm gonna take the cream and I'm gonna warm up the product and I'm going to scrunch it onto my ends. So I'm gonna take it like this and I'm just like taking my ends, I'm just, this is if you don't want to disturb, disturb. this is what you wanna do if you want to, if you don't wanna disturb the curl as much, is you're just taking your hands and fisting it on the ends. But we're going to bun today, so I am going to take some gel. This I really like for smoothing. This is the Eco Styler. Uh, you can use the castor oil one, which is good. I have the coconut. I'm trying to use this one up, but if you, that one can be kind of crunchy, but it just works so well in my hair. So I'm just gonna smooth it on. And make sure you get the back too. And I'm gonna put it in a messy bun. So I'm gonna start collecting. I'm not gonna use a brush. I'm just gonna tug it so I get it nice and taut. Oh no, I'm doing this without a mirror. I'm gonna be honest. A lot of times, is have y'all ever been like this? I might do a puff, a loose puff, but I'm gonna take a hair tie. I know, I just stopped missing it, but it's okay. 
I'm taking the hair tie. Now these are really good because they reduce your hair snagging. So I'm gonna take it once around and I'm just gonna pull it through and do it like that. Do we want a top knot today? Um, and then I just pull, keep pulling this out until I get a cute little button. And we want to make sure we kind of like tuck our ends in. I'm just going to use this clip and I'm going to take it. You know, just be in the back, but it's holding my hair up. And that is it, you guys. I mean, I just keep these like bedside, like I said, um, drinking water throughout the day. I'm gonna take my women's vitamin, and um, I've already taken my. This actually, this multivitamin has collagen in it for my skin. And then this one is hair, skin, and nails. And I'm gonna tell you, Nature's Bounty, that that brand in the drugstore is just to me the best in terms of um, in terms of their vitamins. But you can always check, and I highly recommend you guys checking this stuff out yourself. But I've researched them, and Nature's Bounty. Let me know if there are any vitamins that you take um, in terms of hair growth. I know some people use. They told me the curls. Uh, liquid growth let me know what you think about that I'm gonna put on some sunscreen I put on my skincare already this is just the last step I put on before I start putting on makeup and like I said we're gonna keep it light today so the question of the day is what are you using to grow your hair I know a lot of us or what are you doing to have growth retention or keep your hair from having split ends. It's not just about growing your hair, it's about the journey of healthy hair along the way. So let me know what you are doing to help with length retention. You can also use ingredients that contain rosemary that is a hair strengthener or rosemary extract, rose, um, rosemary oil. You can actually make your own oil uh, and infuse it with rosemary. I've done that before. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you hadn't already and know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and Monday being maintenance Mondays. So I am going to finish off doing my makeup for the rest of the day. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye ladies.